Howdy. My name is David Pitts. I'm also known as the Astonishing Mr. Pitts. I am a, a children's entertainer, a family entertainer here in San Antonio, Texas. I'm a ventriloquist and a, a magician and a comedian. And uh, I just got back from a show at the YMCA fam Family Night, and I wanted to take this opportunity to show you how I pack my show. And uh, this is what's in my case, what's in my magic case. As you can see, I want to show you my costume first. Tonight I'm wearing my simple uh, my lab coat, my t-shirt, my kazoo. I like my lab coat. Uh, all my shows right now are kind of, a, kind of have this uh, superhero, mad scientist thing going on. And so the lab coat really fits. And I just wear a t-shirt and jeans and stuff so that I'm reasonably comfortable in, in the hot San Antonio weather. Um, I like the magic. I like the lab coat because it's got big, deep pockets. I can keep balloons and uh, my magic tricks and uh, that's, uh, stuff that's in balloons. These are these are fluffy balloons here for his for his tricks. Um, this is my sound case first. The first one of the first things I get out. Um, my sound case is just a real simple little like a Goodwill rolling suitcase bag. Uh, the first thing I get out in my show is my concertina and uh, I keep it in my sound case and I put it back in my sound case because there's not really enough room in my suitcase for the whole show plus the concertina even though it is a little a little bitty accordion I love this little thing I'm not exactly a great concertina virtuoso but I can just squeeze out a couple little songs on it <laughs> To, I use this as sort of an introduction, inter introductory thing and get the audience uh, interested in the show and clapping and laughing. And also I use it to introduce my, my first uh, puppet character. I want to show you, uh, gosh, I'll tell you my hand in a second. I want to show you the little sound system I use. I use a standard wired mic. I, I have a, this, is not a, this is not a wireless, it's a wired mic. It's reliable and I can do things with it like a standard comedian would do. Like sound effects, it's much more effective with that. I have a headset, but I've gone back to using the wired mic because it's just it's traditional. Also, if you show up for uh, events sometimes and they might have a really good sound system, like a DJ sound system or a big giant professional sound system, they usually don't have a headset for you. Usually, they have one of these, so it's good to be good to be you know in practice with using one of those. It makes the cables for my sound system. Here's my little sound system. It's a Mackie 150. It's a, it's a nice, clear, loud little system. I use it for school shows. It fills up an auditorium. It's a, it's a great little system. Uh, I'm very happy with that. I'm going to show you. I'm going to get the sound stuff off of here. I'm going to show you what's in the more interesting stuff. My magic kit. Magic and puppets. Tonight, tonight, I was performing at a YMCA in, in like a gymnasium area, and there were mirrors all behind me, and, and magicians know that mirrors behind you are not great for doing magic a lot of times. Fortunately, my stuff isn't, you know, affected by people being able to see behind it very much. But I do, I do keep my stuff covered in case of something like that. I keep it all covered up with a cloth so that, you know, they don't get to see my puppets and stuff before I introduce them, because it kind of takes... You know, takes a little bit of fun out. I like I like the surprise. The first time they get they see him is when I introduce him. I'm going to show you my my, my favorite puppet. His name is Frank. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank, the Wonder Dog. There you go. There you go. There you go. Frank, it, it, come on back. I like Frank. He's He's a very good dog. I'm a good dog. I'm a good dog. What is that guy? I'm a good dog. You are a good dog. You are a good dog. Frank was made by Jet at uh, the Dummy Shop. He is a uh, terrific uh, puppet. He's great to work with. Kids love Frank. Good dog. Good dog. You are a good dog. You are a good dog. Frank the Wonder Dog. He does a trick with a spinning plate. He does. Um, he does a, a trick with a squeaky toy. The name of the show, as a matter of fact, the Evil Doctor Sketchy Stole My Squeaky Toy, 
and Frank is the star of the show. Uh, his squeaky toy has come up missing. I have, uh, let's see, here's his spinning plate. The spinning plate, he, he spins this on his, he balances it on his nose. I can get her going. There we go. He balances it on his on his nose. Um, and then I bring a kid up, and the kid used to do it too. It's a it's a cool trick. It looks funny. And what else? Oh, um, I have a uh, I have my silks, and we use this production thingy, this production thingy to uh, uh, produce to produce. Uh, some of the missing items from the show, we uh, use it to produce. Um, I, I'm sure it has a real name. I call it my production thingy. It's a, it, actually, I call it my test tube in my show because it's kind of a it's kind of a sciencey show. I have different things that we These are the things that have turned up missing as we perform the show. This is uh, this is Fluffy the Magic Bunny's uh, snack. He likes bananas more than he does carrots. Here is here's the the, the missing squeaky toy. Frank Squeaky Toy. We do a duet with the, with the Squeaky Toy and the Kazoo. I have, I have my Kazoo over my neck. I do sound effects during the show. Um, and here is my my superhero my superhero silk. This is from Barry Mitchell, and I've been using this in all my shows. I love this. It's a it's a it's a great visual, beautiful thing, and we produce it. It's lots of it's a it's a big thing. Uh, of course, I have right here. I have uh, the astonishing, the astonishing Fluffy, the Magic Bunny. Uh, he's a puppet, of course. He, he thinks he's real, but uh, I'm pretty sure he's a puppet. No, he, he thinks he's real. He's a, he's a good bunny. He's just a little folk menace puppet. He's a, he's very inexpensive, uh, but he's cute, and he he does he does the thing where he keeps peeking, and it's it's just cute and funny, and, and he's. He's a very popular part of my show, believe it or not. This little guy, he's uh, he's he's extremely popular. Kids love him. They they they, they mention him by name. They say, oh, I like when Fluffy was hitting me with the balloon. Hilarious. Okay, let's see what else. Um, I've got uh, I've got a regular old fashioned old fashioned handle change bag, um, and I'm. I don't believe in revealing magic on YouTube. It's to me, it's breaking the magician's code, and I'm kind of traditional that way. Plus, um, I think it takes the fun out of it. I am, uh, I if I'm not going to perform a trick myself, I don't try to figure it out. I like to be amazed, and I think when you show somebody how it's done, it's it takes the amazement. I like I like to be amazed, and so I like other people to have that experience too. So I don't show how the tricks are done. The magician's code. Um, oh, here's a here's a classic trick that I use in as many shows as I can possibly figure out a way to use it. It's the magic coloring book, and uh, every magician knows these. And some of the kids know them, but when, when some, some of the kids have seen them, they might have their own version of it. Um, and when they say, I know how that's done, I go, well, don't tell anybody. It's a secret. It's the magician's code. So if you know how it's done, don't tell anybody. It rarely happens, but a lot of times, uh, you know, nobody in the audience has seen this this old thing, and these these you know, it's a very standard trick. A lot of a lot of people do them, but I find it very uh, very effective. The kids love it. Let's see what else. Oh, the evil Doctor Sketchy. So the evil Doctor Sketchy, I have finally found a really good use for my Axtel uh, Axtel drawing board, and it's a it's a board. It's a board you draw on the board, and you can draw a face, any, any kind of face on the board that you want, and you can animate it like a puppet. You, 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 the, the, the face will begin to, to talk. It's really cool. Now, tonight, I was working, as I said, in front of some mirrors. And so, you know, you, you realize probably, if you're a magician or a puppeteer, that the way you make this work might be visible from behind. Um, and it is. But the way I have uh, I've dealt with that, the... The uh, the board comes in this great this great cloth bag, so and I took some Velcro and I put it along the top of the magic drawing board and on the top of the bag and I Velcro the bag to the top of the board when I get it out 
And so you can't see what my hand is doing back there. So even if I'm if I'm working if I'm working in front of a mirror like I was tonight, no problem. It doesn't give away how it works. Which, like I said, you know, I think uh, it's not the it, it's a great it's a great puppet. He's a, he's a great effect. It's, it's like a magic trick. It's a puppet. And uh, uh, the evil Doctor Sketchy is, is hilarious. He's a really funny part of the show. Uh, he looks he looks amazingly like me actually, which the kids point out, and I just and it turns out he's my evil twin. Uh, but I'm a real person, and he's a drawing because of um, uh, a terrible lab accident, I suppose. And uh, you know, this is this is the evil Doctor Sketchy who has, in fact, uh, stolen all the my superhero cape and you know, Fluffy's uh, banana, and of course uh, Frank's squeaky toy. In in the library version, I use uh, the evil Doctor Sketchy stole my library card because it's a really popular reading show. But uh, anyway, that's. That's what's in my case. Uh, hope, you, hope you enjoy it. See you guys later.